Hi there, my name is Amy and I am a part of the technical support team here at Schneider Electric. Today we will be exploring how to upgrade the firmware of your PM8000 meter. Firmware is your meter's operating system. When new firmware is available for your meter, you can upgrade to the latest version to get added features and functionality. The firmware version loaded on your meter is shown on your meter's display. You can use Ion Setup to upgrade the firmware of your meter. Firstly, we need to check what firmware version our PM8000 meter is. This is done by the meter itself. To do this, press the home button. Scroll down until you reach the nameplate menu option and press enter. The next screen will now display the meter details, including model, serial number and firmware version. As we can see, this meter needs to have its firmware upgraded. Now that we know that this meter requires a firmware upgrade, we need to know the IP address of the meter. This is integral to being able to set up a connection between a computer and the meter. The IP address of the PM8000 meter can be found in the communication setup menu. To find this menu, press the home button. Scroll down until you reach the setup menu option and press enter. Now select the communication setup. Take note of the IP address and subnet mask, which is 192.168.1.11 and 255.255.255.0 respectively. Okay, so up to this point, we know that the meter needs a firmware upgrade. We know the IP address of the meter, but for successful communication, we need to set up the IP address of your computer. To do this, open the Network Sharing Center to change the adapter settings currently set up. Right click on the Ethernet connection to the PM8000 meter and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Manually set up the IP address of your computer. Ensure that the IP address is on the same network as that of the meter you are communicating with. So the first three sections of the IP address are required to be the same as the meter. So 192.168.1. The last digits are up to you. For this instance, we will set it as 10 as it is easy to remember. Leave the subnet mask as default. You have now set up your computer to communicate with your meter. To confirm that we have set up the IP addresses appropriately, we can ping the IP address in the command prompt window. Before we are able to upgrade the firmware of your meter, please ensure that you have downloaded the latest version of the following files. One, the template file with extension .dcf and the firmware file with extension .upg. These files can be sourced from the Schneider Electric website. The firmware file allows you to upgrade your meter's firmware to get new features. The template file allows you to replace your meter's existing template with an updated template with new features. Ensure you can easily find these files on your computer. Now that we have the template and firmware files saved onto our computer in an easy to locate place, go to PowerLogic Ion Setup application and select Ethernet connection type. Input the IP address of the meter you are communicating with. Select Template in the Setup Assistant window and go to the Firmware Upgrade tab. Take note of the firmware version of the FAC1 template. In this instance, we can see that the template file is not the latest and requires to be upgraded. Select the Upgrade button. You will now be prompted to upload the template file, extension.upg. Once a template file is uploaded, a warning message will appear detailing that this operation causes the meter to reset and loss of data will ensue. You will now be prompted to upload the firmware file, extension.dcf. The template paste options window will now open. Make sure all options are selected before pressing the OK button. The meter will now perform the upgrade process. Once the upgrade process has been completed, 
you will be returned to the Setup Assistant window. Double check that the version of the FAC1 template has changed to the latest version. Exit this window once verified. You have now upgraded your PM8000 meter to the latest firmware. Should you require any assistance, please consult the latest PowerLogic PM8000 series user manual, which can be downloaded from the Schneider Electric website. Alternatively, please feel free to contact Schneider Electric customer care support team, who will be more than happy to answer any queries you have. Thank you.